Uh oh. Why? Uh -oh. Is it losing fuel pressure or what? My friend. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Well, it is time to take the boat out. Finally, y'all, I have been waiting for this day. This is actually a very, very exciting hunt for me for a couple reasons. One being that it's my first excursion out with the boat, Big Marsh Public Land, y'all. Second reason is I get to take Mike and Larry out for the first time. Me taking them out, not them taking me out. All my long-term subscribers, the old guy with the boat, the funny one, Larry, with his dog Jack. That's who we're going with today. The last two years, Mike and Larry have been taking me out on their duck boat and providing awesome hunts on big public land marshes. Well, I finally get to return the favor. And all three of us, we're all pumped and ready to go. Let me tell you what, I'm so excited that right now it's sitting at 2.45 in the a.m. I went to bed early. I went to bed at like 8, 8.30 last night. And I couldn't sleep. I could not sleep. I finally got up at 2 o'clock and was like, dude, you just need to take a shower, wake up, and get at it. <laughs> so right off the get-go, if you guys appreciate that, if you guys like the boat video to come right here, smash the thumbs up button for your boy. This is a big day for me. This is a big day for the channel. First time duck boat. You y'all know how long I've wanted a duck boat. But before we get into today's hunt, check out that duck's camo hoodie. Oh boy, with the matching blades hat. Not only is the blades hoodie available, but that bottomland hoodie is available as well. I will link both of these hoodies down in the description below. Go pick one up. But I'm not going to yap too much this morning. I got to go to Walmart. I have to buy an outdoor little propane stove. We're gonna do some cooking this morning. We're gonna cook some eggs, some bacon, maybe some hash browns, and some sausage in the boat. I have been wanting to do this forever, y'all. So, we're excited for a little bit of boat hunting, a little bit of boat cooking, and old Frederick, here Fred, come here buddy, come here. Check him out. The last hunt y'all seen he was shivering, we got him a vest. He gonna be warm now, aren't you buddy? But if you guys like this video so far, smash the thumbs up button. Let's get this video over 3,000 likes. It helps the video so much, y'all. Enough yapping, let's get on the road. Come on, Fred. Load up. Good. Oh. <laughs> He's not used to that vest yet. Did you get stuck, buddy? Huh? Well, we are at Walmart at 3.15 in the morning. If people don't think I'm crazy, <clears throat> people are gonna think I'm crazy out here buying all this breakfast food in camo at 3.15 in the morning. I don't know, it is Walmart though. I'm sure they've seen much crazier things. All right, so first we're gonna get the food for the morning and the drinks, and then we're gonna go find the stove. Well, first on the menu, bacon. Thick cut, hickory smoked, I think that's it. So next off, they're only $2.50. Little sausage patties. Check them out. Oh yeah. Always check your eggs, people. Always check your eggs. They look good. Oh yeah, fitting to be a good one, boys. I'm thinking a six pack of DP. And I uh, just kidding, just kidding. Man, gotta get the boys some water. Okay, that looks like that's what we need. Small, no, let's get the mediums, yep, for sure. Medium trash bags. No, that's for like, throw away silverware, throw away paper plates, speaking of. Boom, gonna go with the old Dixies. And we'll go with the good old 120 count forks and spoons. One thing left, one last food item, and then we're gonna go find our stove. This last item has to be one of my favorite parts of breakfast. Not only breakfast on a boat, but breakfast anywhere. Doesn't matter if it's at home or at a restaurant. Oh, shredded hash browns, boys. I forgot one last item. That's gonna be pepper and salt. Yeah, let's get the old grinders. We gotta make sure the boat is prepped and ready to go at all times. Now, we gotta get it loaded up. Gonna be doing a lot of duck boat hunting. So we're gonna be cooking a lot of breakfast. So I'm getting stocked up. 
All right, it is time for the key ingredient, the stove. The stove is so important, y'all, because guys, you can have a crappy hunt. When you fire up that stove, when the boys smell that bacon, the bad hunt goes away. And it's not a duck boat unless you're cooking breakfast and you have a stove. I mean, come on, let's be real. So the stove and the skillet. We gotta find an iron skillet too. All right, guys, so from weighing my options here, we got like five choices of grills. So I'm gonna go with this bad boy, little frying pan. This will be good for hash browns. Uh, this one's gonna be good for bacon and sausage. I feel like with this big one, I can kind of split it halfway, cook bacon and sausage, and on this one we can do eggs and hash browns. So this one's like seven bucks, this one's like nine bucks, and this bad boy's like 32 bucks. I feel like that'll work. I feel like that'll do the trick. And that bad boy is supposed to run one hour on one of these cylinders on high. Let's hope it lasts that long. So real quick, big, big shout out to Bond's daddy. He put me on game. Yesterday he called me and he was like, dude, you gotta get a box to hold the stove, your forks, all your stuff in, your pans. He's like, and don't get a normal box, get like a toolbox. Yes. Thank you, Bonds. Well, real quick, since I got up earlier than you know what, I got some time to show you. Look at the rig. How beautiful. <laughs> Had to show y'all. Had to, we have decent light, you know? Oh yeah. We got her in the water. Oh, we got it enough, de I think we have enough decoys, Mike. We'll see. <laughs> well, well, here we are. Your boat floats. Yeah, it, it definitely floats. It starts now that we tighten the uh, battery terminal. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, ready to go. Check out old Jack. He's obviously ready to go. Old Frederick, he don't know what's going on. He says, what do you got on me? You ready, buddy? First boat hunt. Who knows how he'll do here. Little Bob in the maiden voyage. What do you think, Fred? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Is it losing fuel pressure or what? My friend. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Yeah. Yeah, it just wants to die. Some this isn't good. Why is it doing that? Pump it, Larry. It's pumped. It's, it's good. It's losing fuel pressure or something, isn't it? Finally in the boat, decoys are set, and it's four, min four minutes till shooting light here. It's probably right on the dot now. Um, for some weird reason, uh, it's probably not a weird reason, it's probably a legit reason that I just don't know about yet, but it's not holding fuel pressure. The fuel line is not holding fuel pressure. I don't know if the manufacturer, if the dealer uh, slapped a bad fuel filter on this bad boy, or if there's a fuel leak somewhere where it's losing pressure. Uh, but it has been legit hard AF to get in here. I mean, it, it took way too long. I think it died on us about 20 times. We had to keep uh, hand pumping the pressure bulb and the fuel line to keep it pressurized. So, if you guys have any ideas what might be wrong here, just go ahead and drop your boy a comment down below and, and just let us know because we have been struggling. But we made it. We are here. And old Frederick doesn't know what's going on. He's like, dude, this has been a mess. <sighs> so, we're going to hope that we can shoot something. <laughs> well, we got an absolutely beautiful morning. Again, uh, I'm glad we made it. <laughs> what, are you, uh, what are you thinking the issue is, Michael? Uh, I think you have a couple issues. <laughs> We seem to find more the further we get into this yeah. adventure. Yeah, it's like, hey, just stop looking for issues because yeah. we're just going to keep finding them. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll start making a list. 
Yeah. We're just hoping we get back to the trucks. So. Yeah. So long story short, the boat started great in the driveway. Um, everything, you know, uh, it, it went great. Charged the battery up, cranked right over. We got it on the water and uh, we made it about mm, maybe a hundred yards and just just dead on its face. Uh, for some reason, we're having to keep the fuel line completely pressurized with that priming bulb. No idea if it's a bad fuel filter, like I said, that's what I'm leaning towards. We found a leak, we tightened up the fitting for the leak. We got three on the right, boys. Again, help us out, drop a comment down below. What is it? What is it? Well, they didn't like it. They kept going. That's uh, the first group that's came and took a look at, at us. Mike's fired one time at a single completely with that deal. <laughs> Ooh, one just, what was that that landed? Duck just landed right here. That's a big duck. It is. That ain't a coot, is it? Uh, Another one right here. It's not bobbing oh, that's, head. yeah, that's a big duck. Is that a mallard? Looks like a mallard. Go ahead. Well, we're going to do some water swatting, boys. Anything coming? Nope. All right. That boy dead. That boy dead. <laughs> that boy's all kinds of dead. <laughs> oh, you've been getting all kinds of hell if you missed that. <laughs> well, first dead duck in the boat. Uh, if you're liking the video, it's been it's been an adventure already. Uh, smash the thumbs up button. We need it, boys. There he goes, old Jack. We're gonna send Jack out. He's on his way. Oh, old Fred. He's going, Dad. Why not me? Why not me? Oh, oh, oh. On your right side. Want to shoot him? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't going to shoot again because if we drop them that far yeah. out, they're going to be a sailor. Yeah. Shit, they flared. Yep, they flared really bad. There's another group right there on the right. Load up. Oh, here they come, boys. Sit. Sit, Fred. That's a good group. Going on your side a little bit. Want to spray them? Oof. Big flare. Another group. Oh my god, another group right here. Three groups just went by us. Oh, really? Come on now, do it, big duck. Oh, yeah. Man, they're just skittish. One reason why they might be skittish is because it was just opening weekend. Nice! Oh, no, he ain't. No, he ain't. You're gonna have to pop him again, Michael. Yep. Shoot through the damn cattails. Get it! No! That he's that boy dead! <laughs> <laughs> Second duck down. Oh, let's see if, it, yeah, yeah, we'll try Fred here. You ready, buddy? Want to try it? Look, Fred. Dead bird, Fred. Fred! Dead bird, Fred! There he goes. This is his first retrieve out of the boat. Dead bird, Fred! Fred! Dead bird, Fred! Dead bird! He is so confused. Fred, dead bird! There he goes. Seems like the groups, yeah, they're giving us one look and uh, seems like we're going to have to take some 40 yarders. Uh, the first look is all we're getting here. Come on, come on, float this way. Hold on, hold on. Man, I thought they were going to be on a string. Come on. No, come on. Two big ducks out front. Yep, 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 right in front. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh, I went two for I went two for three. <laughs> yeah, I got two birds down on the left side, boys. Woo! Good boy, Fred. Oh god. Fred, you're caught up in the blind, dude. Come on, buddy. This is all new to Fred. Sit. Here, buddy. Come here. Here, here, Fred. Sit. Sit. Look, he's all caught. 
Dude, what in the world? I got Here. passed up for those tail and those two gadwalls. Yeah, dude. So <laughs> the two big ducks, I was like, you're like, are they still coming? Yeah. I looked up and the teal were just on yeah. the floor. <laughs> Woo! Well, uh, Fred about drowned out there. He was caught up in the net, uh, but I downed two teal left side. We need to get them picked up. Dead bird, Fred, dead bird. Come on, buddy. Over here. Dead bird. Dead bird. Well, we're out here. We got to pick up some birds. Shot my two teal. One, two. Over here, buddy. Dead bird. Come on, man. Dead bird. Dead bird. There's one. Good boy. Here. 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 Drop. Good. Dead bird. There's one more, Fred. Dead bird. There he sees it. Heck yeah. Well, there we go. Green wing, baby. Good boy, here. Good, here. Good, man. Look how good old Frederick looks. That's a good boy. Drop. Another green wing. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on, Frederick. Come on. He's loving life. You like your new vest, buddy? Good day. Uh, <laughs> uh, this boat, though. A brand new boat. Brand new. This is the one we're giving away for the t-shirt of the month. Uh, nothing's wrong with it. It has zero hours on the motor. It's literally something with the fuel pressure. Um, I got a leak somewhere, and it's, it's losing fuel pressure. So we're going to have to figure it out once we get back home. Hopefully, we make it out of here. Well, old Jackie... Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to get Jack back in the boat here. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Well, I don't have a dog ramp yet. We're going to have to make one. Come on, Jack. Ready, Jack? Get in here, bud. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Jack. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, oh, God. Oh, God. There he is. Oh, Jackie, you, you made it. Off of Jack. <laughs> he needs to lose some weight, don't he? Oh, Bell, oh there, Larry, boy. I was getting Fred back in the boat. He retrieved them two teal. Yeah. And uh, we we're getting the boat. Larry pulls up and just dumps this pintail. Oh, Larry, you're limited out on your pintail. That's right. I got the first limit of the year. Yeah, at least someone's <laughs> limited out around yeah. here in this, in this here boat. What are you doing, Bob? Getting ready to make some yummy marsh bacon that's what we're gonna do oh, oh yeah looks like that's gonna be juicy oh yeah we're gonna throw some bacon on here get back fred oh yeah she's hot boys oh Ooh, yeah. the rest of the marsh they're getting ready to smell nothing but yummy goodness coming from the boat oh yeah oh yeah it's gonna get good boys oh fred he's on point what do you yeah, think fred he says, hey, oh dad. yeah he says dad am i gonna get some of that maybe if you're a good boy fred only if you're a good boy, Frederick. Well, here we go. First batch almost done. We got the bacon and the eggs are going. Oh, Fred. I know, dude. You want some? You've been a good boy. No, this dude will not leave me alone. Look, here. One piece of bacon. There you go, buddy. That's what we got going on now. Got the hash browns on. I already burned the sausage patties though. That's a bad deal. Pretty good. Tasty. Tasty? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is going way smoother than the ride out here. The the stove and the cooking going way better than uh, the operation of the boat getting out here. That's for oh, sure. Oh, wrapper in there. Oh, something about breakfast in a boat on the marsh, loaded gun, just waiting for a duck to fly by. Mike actually sprayed and prayed at one of them just a minute ago. I didn't get the camera on for it. Yeah, you didn't miss anything. Yeah, you didn't miss much. But we're going on round two here of cooking. Uh, hash browns still are not done yet. Waiting on them, but we got more sausage and bacon just uh, getting it. Well, she has wound down. We're done eating. I wanted to show you guys our little spread here. We got out five dozen floaters. And as you can tell right in the middle there, Mike put his little squirter out, one mojo, some decoys off to the right side, 
with today's wind we're looking right into the sun so that was about the only downfall other than uh other than the fuel pressure on the boat so we're gonna wrap it up we're gonna pick everything up we're gonna try to get headed back in we'll see how it goes here y'all uh, brand new setup y'all so we're trying to get her uh, get all the bugs worked out here We are back home. Uh, get old Fred out of here. Come on, buddy. Hi. How are you doing, man? Fred had a good day on the boat. It was an awesome experience for him. Uh, it was an awesome experience for everybody. Everybody was happy with it. We had great breakfast, but uh, I got to get it figured out. The fuel system, y'all. So when I got it, everything was supposed to be ready, but it wasn't. This primer little hand pump I installed yesterday, no leaks around it, we've checked. And then this morning, we found out that this fitting right here was a little loose. So in the marsh, I didn't get to record it, but we took this fitting loose, made sure this fitting was tight, buttoned it up. There's no leaks here because I just turned it upside down and it wasn't leaking at all. Brand new boat, y'all. This is the one we're giving away. Uh, but it's brand new and you kind of got to get the bugs worked out right off the get-go, you know what I mean? And keeping and sustaining a fuel pressure in that line, it's nothing wrong with the motor, obviously. It's something either with the tank or the line, but no leaks at all and it's got fuel in it all the time, see? See, but see there's barely any in there. Just a minute ago it was full. Now, I think that it's either in the line or it's in the tank. Something is losing pressure before that fuel filter in the line or the tank. Drop a comment down below. Help me figure this out, y'all. Fred here. With your help, I know I can figure it out. Just like with Fred, I did. I had no idea what I was doing with him when it came to training. And y'all came through, you helped me out. And without you guys, Fred would not be where he is today. I'm telling you right now. You guys helped so much. So. If you have any suggestions about the boat, please drop a comment down below and let me know. I do, I do in fact greatly appreciate it. And like I said earlier, the Camo Ducks hoodies are all available. We got them in blades. We got them in bottom lands. I will link them down in the description below. A lot of you have been asking Bob when they're gonna be available. They are available. But make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And any special foods that y'all want cooked on the boat, on the hunt, Drop a comment down below and let me know that too because I enjoyed cooking this morning. That was nice. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Subscribe if you haven't. Lots of hunting to come, y'all. But until next time. Oh, you're